believe I first recognized my talent as an artist back when I was four years old. My daddy set me down with a pencil and a piece of paper and helped me to draw this photograph that was on the wall of our dining room. And from there, it just, uh, I was constantly drawing. Even as I went through all my different grade levels at school, my teachers were always there encouraging my art ability and helping me to develop it. I took a couple of semesters at Boise State uh, Junior College, that was a few years ago, and uh, studied with John Kilmaster there. I also did some studying with Willis Nelson. But the rest of it is self-taught. I've developed my own style and uh, particularly my interest. About 15 years ago, I met a gentleman named Kenneth Ata. Uh, he's an Oneida elder, and it was under his tutelage that I began to learn about the Native American ways. And I learned a tremendous number of stories and so forth that we later put into a museum and a culture center in Wyandotte. There, we lived among eight different nations there in the northeast corner of Oklahoma. Among them were the Seneca Cayuga. And it was originally from Kenesaita that I learned about the great laws and all of the stories that I began to become obsessed with and to learn about that are now part of the Spirit Winds of Peace exhibit and tour that we're doing at this time. Uh, my interpretation of the great laws was first exhibited with the Winter Olympics in Salt Lake City. There was part of the ethnic village and it was uh, the part of the Indian display that was there at that time uh, telling the story of the great laws. All of my paintings were on exhibit there also. Uh, that was the result of a grant that was given to me so that I was able to do that. I believe the intention of the Spirit Winds of Peace exhibit is to bring people to the realization that it only takes a few people to make a difference. In the story of the Great Law, three individuals take warlike nations that were constantly fighting and create a civilization of peace that lasted for thousands of years. A civilization that had no poor, had no orphans, and had no jails. I think that's an inspiring story, and that's what my hope is, that people will be inspired from it. The obsession that I have, the compelling factors that I have that inspired me to create this series of paintings is everything that the Great Law encompasses. It encompasses world peace. It encompasses equality. It encompasses spirituality, a way for individuals to treat one another. The peacemakers told us that the word that he brought was that all men should live together in peace and to love one another. I think that is an awesome statement. And it is a statement that should guide our lives, not just once a week, but every minute that we're breathing. I do believe that especially the Great Law series, because it comes from a sacred land, a sacred time, from a sacred peacemaker, that following this path gives me a direction and a focus that will only continue to enhance my spirituality personally, as well as those that I'm able to share these stories with. Thank you for taking the time to view this short presentation. I encourage you to read the story and to view my artwork, which is on this CD. It is an epic story of eminent importance to the time of now. It is a story that's very close to my heart. And it is a story that I believe needs to be shared. We have designed it as a traveling exhibit, and now is a great time for you to bring this story and this exhibit to your area. 
My contact information is also available on this CD. I am looking forward to meeting you and to presenting this story with my beautiful artwork in your area soon. <laughs>